All right, this is going to be how to use the software. Um, this first video is going to be just the scraping portion itself, so we're not going to get into Turbo Lister at all. It's just going to be how to produce the list, what we're looking for, and uh, and what is being displayed to us and what it all means. So the first thing that really matters is the actual interface. That's this part right here. <clears throat> The top is just explaining the scraper a little bit, but this is the actual interface. So the first thing that we'll do is I'll show you how to do a list using the category search term method on the scraper. Um, this is going to produce a list with free shipping um, and I believe all four star products or higher. Um, so this is just um, the category. So you have to select your category, and it has to be relevant to what you're searching. You can't search for pots and pans and appliances. It's not going to be in there. Um, sort by is just the same thing, the sort method, just like Amazon. I leave mine at relevance. <clears throat> Last thing is the search term right here, as far as at the top of the, the um, interface. We've got a search term, just like what you would put in Amazon. Okay, so pots and pans. Uh, the next part is our pricing um, filter. So we, just like on the sidebar of Amazon, these are the filters of the lowest price product and the highest price products you want to be displayed. So in this case, we don't want anything lower than 35 so that we can get free shipping. Uh, and we don't want anything over 100 because let's hypothetically say we have a limit on our account and we don't want to surpass it. So that's exactly what we put in here. We don't have these are integers, not floats, which means you don't want decimal points. We just want whole numbers. Um, next one is how many products we want on our list. So this is actually something cool that people don't seem to understand because, well, I didn't explain it well because I suck at that. Um, when you buy a list for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 product list or whatever you're actually buying not lists which I should rename this and I probably will you're buying products to scrape at any point in any in any way you want so when you have 20 products you can do two lists of 10 with a different search term or you could do you know four lists of five with each having a different search term you could do one product for you know and do 20 different search terms it's whatever you're wanting um, to be as far as each list. It's just your total amount of products are based on what you've purchased. And in that same respect, if you buy five products and you use five of them, or you buy 20 products and use five of them, um, and you then decide you want to buy, you know, another 40, you'll have what you have left over 15 plus the 40 banked. So you can use those 55 products. Um, you know in any way that you want it's a bank you have a bank of products that you're you're building by purchasing different size lists so uh, you know the more you buy the more you bank up and you can use them in any kind of way as far as different search sizes uh, list sizes and such so this is this method and each time you're going to need to put in your PayPal email and your zip code and then, <clears throat> if you know what page you're going to be scraping, you can tell it what page to start on. That just means that instead of starting on page one and scraping what you feel probably everybody else is scraping, you can start on page five and just get the you know back of the list and kind of start up where somebody else probably wouldn't have started. Um, and that's all you really need to scrape a list with with these. Uh, fields. The proxy server stuff, that's in case you're running lists and you see that it's not able to grab the pricing or information on products. It usually means uh, if it's doing it on a, a lot of products, it means that the, the proxy server has failed um, and Amazon's asking for a CAPTCHA to be filled out. In that case, we need to tell Amazon that we're a different IP address. And um, you can just go to this website here and find an IP address. I might go into that a little bit more 
in depth. Um, but at this point, you don't need that. So I'll scrape a list with this method and, um, and show you the results. Actually, while we're on here, I'll just show you what this is for, too. So if you go to Amazon, uh, that field is pretty powerful and it's pretty cool. So if you go to Amazon.com and we search for the same search result, pots and pans, we can do a little bit more filtering specifically if we want and just use the URL to base, it, base our scrapes off of. So pots and pans, home and kitchen, and these are all our filters over here so we want free shipping and we want four stars and up we want let's say we wanted uh, between 50 and 100 and we could even go as far as let's see if we have you know things that are 25 percent off so we're looking at a list of 280 results um, sometimes Amazon doesn't want to be exactly where we're at on pricing these products will be skipped that are over the hundred because they don't match your filter settings um, on the scraper so what we can do is we've got a nice list here you just copy this go in here and you paste it you still need to fill out the second and third row you don't need to fill out this row um, if you have a URL so you put your zip your um, your email, your minimum price and your high price still need to be set so that I can do the extra filtering to make sure that we don't get any products above that. Um, so literally this is just taking the page that has the products you want to scrape and pasting it into this field. You can do it that way which gives you a little bit better idea of what you're going to be getting um, or you can do it this way if you don't feel like going on Amazon and searching it and doing the filters. This is going to do free shipping uh, and four star products only if you do it this way. So what we can do now is we can scrape a list. So when you first try it out you're going to get three products completely free uh, to use in, in uh, post to your eBay. It's just my way of letting you play with it and understand the process. Hopefully using these videos to help you out. So we'll generate a CSV now. All right. So this stuff is more just blah for me. You can use these to kind of look at what you're scraping. Um, it's going to scrape that URL that I put up there, though. Um, this shows you the category ID that it's going to be setting for the products. So this is less important to us. Um, scraping and more important to me. Uh, just to make sure stuff's working right. Um, so before I go into the products, I'll show you up here. This is the CSV file and the set of URLs. This is going to be all the URLs of the products that are, have been scraped. You don't click these until the product is completely done um, and the list is completely done. I have a pop-up blocker that blocked my pop-up or else it would have automatically downloaded uh, all of the, the lists for me. Um, and popped up the URL sheet. So now that it's done, we can just click this and download it. But first, I'm going to show you what's going on here. So the first product that we found, 7461, and it's a set, set of pot and pans. So it's created... Uh, so I used to have something in here that would take care of um, changing the titles. I got rid of that because it just didn't... It didn't work. It just took too long and and it wasn't necessarily worth it that way. So what it does do though, it's going to take your product and it's going to shorten it down um, so that the title is within the right uh, amount of characters. And it's going to say whether it was added or skipped. So this product was added, you can tell it was added here, which is that product. And a little bit more information. So we've got the cost of the product, how much we're going to sell it for, the fees of our sale, how much the product will cost us to buy it um, at with the fees uh, added, and then what our profit will be on the product. 
so uh, it also grabs an image for the product as well. So um, it's also grabbed the description and added a uh, disclaimer to the bottom. This is one that's going to work for almost every single person. Honestly, it should work for everyone. It's pretty good disclaimer. Um, as well as at the very bottom, we add the title of the um, product. So just in case you're titling your products and changing stuff, you have the original title at the bottom that you can still search with. All right. And then you'll see like this product was skipped. Um, the cost was above our 100, um, so we skipped it. Uh, same thing with this one, it was above 100. And this one as well. And this one. And this one was fine, so this one got added. And you'll see that's what it's doing. It's just adding products that fit our requirements. Um, and then, uh, oops. And then adding it to the CSV. Okay. So that's really all the scraper is. I'm going to download the CSV for you by clicking on the link. And it should download. And I'll even open it up in um, OpenOffice to show you what it kind of looks like. But that's all we're doing. We're just taking the product, that we're, the, the page that we're wanting to scrape, copying it, pasting it in here, then setting our price limits that we want, how many products we want in the list, putting our PayPal email and our zip code in, uh, and if it's for some reason the scraper's been acting really weird, we can put an IP and port in. Don't really worry about that. If you don't even want to do that and you just want to send me an email letting me know that the scraper is acting funny, I'll replace the email, the default um, I, uh, proxy for it. So that's really all that you need to do to actually get a CSV created. Uh, the next video I'll do uh, turtle or turbo lister. So actually importing the product and uh, editing the product so that it fits my my needs, so my return policy and things like that. So you can actually edit all of them at once. It's pretty cool. And uh, also I have Title Builder on here. Just something to look at. It's really nice. There'll be a there's a file that's generated um, with all the URLs for your products that were scraped. You can use that or you can do it, you know, the old fashioned way searching for the product and finding the URL. <clears throat> so this is what was generated. And this is what gets imported into Turbo Lister. So I'm going to format this so you can kind of see it. So we've got the title that we're using for the product, the categories, those are the category that we're using for the products, the price after markup, and all of our other information, description, image, and all that kind of stuff are in here. Uh, I'll go in probably and just I'll just do the the next video explaining the pricing model and how that works because that's really cool so these prices right here are at, are not just randomly a single markup like oh we'll just mark everything up 20 percent it is there's some business logic in there and there's the ability to edit that business logic to fit your needs for your pricing so you can you can mark prices up pretty specific and, and make it kind of your own. Uh, after this video I'll do some explaining of that uh, the custom pricing model. So I hope that this helps you out and it's a little bit more clear how to use the how to use the actual tool online. Um, and I'll probably replace this video with the one that I'm currently making right now so that you can watch this one um, it followed up by some of the other videos. Alright, 